Hello everyone, welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be doing a request video. This request was given to us by a user called Forcia Robin. This is through Reddit. They requested for us to test the Moldex N95 respirator 2200 N95 series. This is how the N95 respirator looks. It is a mesh design. This is how it looks from the inside. It is a pretty soft material from the inside. The quality of this is actually a pretty high construction quality. It feels more like an industrial mask design, something that you would usually wear at a chemical plant setting. And this is how the headbands look. As you guys can see, the headband length are very different. This is the top headband and this is the bottom one. They do have a differing length because um, it does help with a more natural fit. One thing that also caught me off is that it doesn't have any of the N95 requirements listing on the actual mask. Okay, so I, <laughs> I thought that they didn't have the N95 requirements on the mask, but it actually does have it on the strap. So you guys can see from the headband strap, it has all of the N95 requirements on the headband strap. It, you can't really tell that it's there because on one side it has the usage attention manual. So let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits on my face. Usually and uh, usually cup style N95 respirators are on the more tight side of the fit. So these are pretty tight on my face. But I did mention it doesn't have a nose wire so you do kind of have to play a little bit with it to make sure that it fits your face properly. It doesn't have any it doesn't have any strong smell. I can't really smell anything and the breathability of it is pretty good. So this is how it looks. I wouldn't necessarily say that I would use this as a daily face mask. Let's go over the listing before we go into the TSI testing. So this is the Moldex 2200 series disposable particle respirator mask. This comes in a pack of 20. It is currently sitting at a 4.2 out of 5 rating with 54 reviews. The current price is $33.98 which makes them $1.70 per respirator which is a pretty reasonable price. The seller for these respirators is Safety Supply City. Here is the Moldex authorized resellers. I tried looking for the full name and it didn't appear. I also tried looking it by word and it didn't appear on this list. This reseller is not authorized by Moldex. What we advise is for you to find authorized sellers to purchase from and try to stay away from the ones that are not on their list. We actually purchase from TPR Industries and they are on these authorized resellers list for Moldex. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and move to the filtration portion of this video. We're gonna be testing this N95 respirator with our TSI machine. As mentioned, this is our TSI machine model 8130A. This is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then, we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The TSI machine is now conducting its test, which tests for both particle filtration efficiency and pressure drop. Let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the respirator is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for all three samples was 98.18 or above. 
So we are back now, and as you guys saw from the result, all three samples passed the filtration efficiency. Overall, the construction quality of these were pretty good. I'd give them like a 9 out of 10, just because of the nose wire not being there, and I wasn't able to really adjust it to my face. The fit and the comfort kind of go hand in hand. The fit was a pretty good fit, although it was a bit tight on my face. So I wouldn't necessarily say that I would use this on a daily use. Like I said earlier in the video, this would probably be used in more if more of an industrial environment. So if you are looking for an industrial face mask, this will be a great fit for you. Another issue that I did have was because of the nose wire not being there, I did have a little bit of leak on the nose and it was a little hard for me to adjust it to my face shape. One thing I wanted to point out was that the staples on this mask may cause some irritation on some users. In the past, we have distributed masks with staples and although the staples do not affect filtration, we have had some instances where our customers have complained that the staples scratch or irritate their face. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as leaving your requests in the comments down below if you would like for us to test any K95, N95 respirator, or KF94 face mask. Also, please make sure to check the description box down below. We will have a lot of important information, including our website, which is acumed.com, and our master testing data sheet, and I'll see you guys in our next video.